Hello everyone, in this video we are we would like to introduce ourselves and explain all thoughts regarding our decision to do a master's degree in applied linguistics in TESOL. The University of Yokshan in England and now for question number one. Can you tell us something about yourself? Hi, I'm Suti, I'm from Thailand, I'm 24 years old. I got my bachelor from Thailand in English major, and now I'm doing master degree in TESO at York St. John University. Hello, my name is Dinara. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Kazakhstan. I do a bachelor degree in translation studies, English and Russian, and now I'm doing my master's in um, linguistics. Hi, I'm Anson. I came from Suzhou, China. I'm 23 years old, and now I'm learning MA TESO in York St. John University. Hello, my name is Lila. I am from Athens, Greece, and I was raised in America until I was 12 years old, where I attended a Canadian-French immersion school. Then I moved to Greece, where I attended a Greek secondary school. And then I moved to the UK to complete my bachelor's degree in theater and media drama at the University of South Wales. And I'm currently doing a master's degree in applied linguistics and TESOL at York St. John University here in England. Why did you decide to become an English language teacher? Well, I like traveling. I like seeing different places, so I thought this job is perfect for me. Yeah, I like English, and I think being an English teacher is an easy job for me. Um, it is easy because compared, comparing with the jobs which need people work day and night, um, so it's very suitable for me. Well, I've always believed that teaching is the most important job in the world because teachers have the power to inspire people and help them uh, follow their dreams. <clears throat> I know this from experience because of being dyslexic, and even though I had some teachers who made me feel insecure, I was lucky enough to come across one or two teachers, um, excellent teachers, who taught me how to believe in myself. Uh, due to my background, I decided to become an English language teacher, not only because English is a language that is spoken and recognized around the world, but because teaching language is important for communication and communication is important for survival. So for me, a uh, teaching job in Thailand is quite high status, so everybody has to respect teacher and I can get good money as well. Uh, what does your family think about your choice of career? Well, my family thinks that's a good choice um, because being an English teacher is steady and also with good salary. So my family support me a lot and that's a good choice for me and also for my family. Well, my family have always uh, believed in me and encouraged me to follow my dreams. Their only concern has only been about my happiness. Um, their reaction to my choice of career has been a very positive one because they believe in my ethics and good intents. My family, they're quite happy with my choice of career. Uh, and my aunt, she is an English teacher, so she inspired me to be an English teacher. So, and they support me a lot for doing MA in the UK. And I think I'm the first teacher in my family, so everyone's happy. And if I'm happy, my family's happy. How do you think your work helps you? Um, I see teaching as a mission because a teacher's mission is to bring out the best in people. TESOL helps improve communication and it helps bring people together in accepting and respecting um, each other's cultural and social differences. And in order to, to help people, you must, uh, one must make a difference and aspire to become not only a teacher but a great teacher. I think my work helps a lot of English young learners, even adults, because uh, the recent research said uh, proficiency level of Thai students is nearly the lowest in Southeast Asia. So I want to help them to help them improve their English proficiency level. Well, I think our job helps people a lot. They can travel to new places, they can meet different people, they can learn a lot. I think they can do more in life.
a house built out of stone Wooden floors, walls and windowsills Tables and chairs worn by all of the dust This is a place where I don't Thank you.